You have a person in your mind that you want to manifest. But, knowingly or unknowingly, you are committing this one mistake that is stopping you from having them. This one thing is changing them, and I know you want them to be with you because you are attracted to them. But I want you to stop doing this one thing today, and you will have them. Also, I will be providing you with a full guide to manifesting a specific person. By the end of this video, you will know the exact method to bring them into your reality. So, you want to manifest a specific person because you heard that someone manifested their person. You thought to give it a try, but you don't know how to do it exactly. You have watched thousands of videos on this topic, but you still are not aware of how to do it. Well, I understand you. That is why I have made this video for you. Whenever someone asks me how to manifest something, the first and foremost advice that comes to mind is that you have to shift your identity. Just hear me out clearly, nothing is going to happen if you don't shift your identity. There would be no difference in your reality if you hadn't changed your identity. In today's time, the majority of the people are seeking quick fixes. They want to know the methods that would let them manifest their desire in 24 hours or in a few minutes. But what really matters is what kind of concepts you hold about yourself. But how can they help you manifest your specific person? Well, it is the most important thing when it comes to manifesting a specific person. It is because your unconscious actions and behavior are dependent upon the concepts you hold about yourself. The way you respond to a particular situation depends upon the concepts you are holding true about yourself. When you make them align to your desired state of reality, then only you can rectify your situation. So, the first step is to become aware of what assumptions you are holding currently. Just be honest with yourself, take a notebook and a pen. On the first sheet of paper, you have to write everything that comes to mind about how you see yourself. You have to honestly write about yourself, you have to describe yourself. Like, how you view yourself. If it comes to your mind that you see yourself as someone who is of low value, then you have to write it. Then take another sheet of paper and write exactly what comes to your mind about your specific person. Write everything honestly, like if it comes to your mind that your specific person takes you for granted. Then write that particular thing on the sheet of paper. If it comes to your mind that your specific person can get anyone that they want, then write it too. If you think your specific person is rude, then also write this on the sheet of paper. Just be honest with yourself. Now take the third sheet of paper, and on this, write about the current situation that you are facing with your specific person. Let's say right now you are in a phase where your specific person does not initiate the conversations with you. Then write about it. Write how you feel about this current situation. What do you think about this situation with your specific person? If you think that there is someone else that is present in your specific person's life, then write about it. If you think this situation can't be changed, then also write about it. Now, on the fourth sheet of paper, describe the role that you are playing in this relationship. Also write the roles that your specific person is playing in this relationship. Let's say you are playing the role of someone who is chasing that person. Then write about it. Write instances where you think you have chased them. If you think your specific person is playing the role of someone who is running away from you, then write about it. Just do this activity. This is the first step to manifest them in your reality. Now it does not mean that you only have to write about the bad stuff. Maybe while writing on the first sheet of paper, it comes to your mind that you are good enough, but you don't know why your specific person is pulling away from you. It is not about writing good or bad stuff about your specific person, yourself, the situation, and the roles that you play. Maybe you are playing the role of a caring person. Maybe your specific person is playing the role of a good listener. Just write about it honestly. You have to write about it as it appears in your mind. You don't have to take a long time doing it. Just devote a few minutes and write about them. It doesn't have to be like you are writing a script. You are just writing whatever comes to your mind. I hope you understood it. Now that you have done it, just take a deep breath because you have performed a crucial task. You have found the key that will unlock the door of success when manifesting. After completing this step, now you have to read all these four sheets of paper. Whatever you wrote in it is what you are conscious of right now. These are the assumptions that you are holding about yourself in this current situation. These are the dominant assumptions that you hold, and these assumptions are becoming a fact in your reality. You are manifesting these assumptions in your reality. But don't get discouraged. Some assumptions might be in alignment with your desired reality, and some assumptions won't be in alignment with your desired reality. Like, if you wrote that you are a caring person, then it is in alignment with your desired reality of being in a relationship with that person. A caring nature is required in a successful relationship. Also, if you wrote that your specific person is playing the role of a friend but they are not romantically interested in you, then, also, you have a partial assumption that is in alignment with your desired reality. According to me, being friends is a good assumption because every successful relationship has an element of friendship. Friendship makes a relationship strong. But when you have written that they are not romantically interested in you, 
then this assumption is not in alignment with your desired reality. That is why I said that your assumption is partially in alignment with your desired reality. So, now the next step is to analyze these assumptions, just look at them. This is what you believe about yourself, your partner, the situation, and the roles that you are playing in this relationship. This is what you are manifesting, this is what you are conscious of. When you observe them, when you analyze these assumptions, you will know which are in alignment and which are not. Now, you will find some assumptions that are not in alignment with your desired reality. In the next step, you have to change these assumptions. You have to let go of the assumptions that are not serving you. Just with a pen, cross these assumptions that are not useful to you. You have to stop identifying with these assumptions. Now, you have to take another sheet of paper, and on this sheet of paper, you have to write some new assumptions. You don't have to search for these assumptions on Google or YouTube, or you don't have to ask about these assumptions to another in the comments section. All you have to do is look from the eyes of the person who is already in the relationship that you desire. You have to go within and start thinking of a character that is already in a relationship that you desire. You would start having some ideas. Like, you would think that you are a person of high value, and you are adding so much to this other person's life. You would get the idea that your partner is highly interested in you in a romantic way. You would get the idea that your partner is playing the role of a lover. Now write all of these assumptions on a sheet of paper. These are the assumptions that you now have to accept as true. These are the assumptions that will work in your favor. This sheet of paper is very important to you. In the next step, you have to look at this sheet of paper multiple times during the day. When you look at this paper, imagine some short scenes where these assumptions are true. If your new assumption is that they are romantically interested in, then imagine a scene that shows this assumption as true for you. You can imagine them giving you a rose. You can imagine them flirting with you. You can imagine them sitting close to you. You can imagine them kissing you. You can imagine having a candlelight dinner with them. There are countless scenes that you can imagine. These scenes will make your new assumptions strong for you. These scenes will help you change your assumptions. Whenever a doubt arises in your mind, you just have to become aware of this sheet of paper. You have to read these assumptions, and you have to remind yourself that these new assumptions are true for you. Like whenever it comes to your mind that you are not good enough, then remind yourself that I am good enough. Who said I am not good enough? Look at me, I am good enough. Whenever some old assumption comes to your mind that it is not working, just remind yourself that I already have it, it is working. I already got it, I have it. You are already that what you want to be, and your refusal to believe it is the only reason you do not see it. To reach a higher level of being, you must assume a higher concept of yourself. Manifestation is not about wanting it or getting it in the future. It is about having it, it is about having it right now. It is not about becoming it in the future, but it is about being in this present moment. So, start accepting these new assumptions as true. Before sleeping and after waking up is the best time in which you can reprogram your mind to accept these assumptions. You can even record an affirmation tape. I have made one such affirmation tape that you can listen to in order to form these new assumptions. You can find it by clicking on the first video that now appears on the screen.